Hello besties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah if you're new here and today I'm going to show you a refreshed makeup routine. I literally spent like $300 going to Sephora and I basically asked all of the employees what their favorite makeup products were. I will go through all of the products that I got with you guys and I'm going to be trying them out for the first time on screen. There are brands in here that I have never tried so I'm really, really excited to get started. I will just go through the products and open them up with you guys and we'll kind of do it together. I also have some old products as well that I really, really love that I will be reusing and showing you guys. And the first of that is going to be the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys, the first time I tried this, I like fell in love with it. I'm just gonna tuck my hair behind my ears because I need to get it out of my face. I just use my hands for this. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. This is just a good base. I asked the woman that I was talking to at Sephora about what she would recommend for kind of like a semi sheer foundation and she really recommended this one to me. This is the Bite Beauty Change Maker micellar foundation i'm going to be using this beauty blender this one is from real techniques and i actually got this one at target i'm going to just kind of put that around my face i feel like this was such a good match in store blend that in i guess it's really nice because it just kind of like evens out your skin tone a little bit so the next product i'm going to use is the nars radiant creamy concealer i've heard so many good things about this one this is the light to vanilla so I'm going to unbox this as well right now. I'm then gonna use a concealer brush. This one is from Sephora. I already had this. This is what the shade looks like. I feel like it matches my skin really well. And I wanted something that was a little bit more full coverage for underneath my eye because I do have very dark circles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like apply a little bit of that underneath my eye and I'm just going to blend this in with this concealer brush so that is looking really good already I may go in with a second layer but first I'm just going to go over the spots that need coverage this was such a good match to my skin you guys I feel like it matches literally perfectly which is amazing I got the Fenty Beauty matte match stick and I got it in the color mocha so I'm just gonna open this one up as well this is my first time trying something like this so I'm a little bit nervous I think that's good I really don't know how to do this very well okay I'm pretty happy with that I think it looks pretty good and don't come for me in the comments you guys because I really have not done this before. The woman at Sephora actually recommended, I will see if I can find the product here, she recommended the actual Sephora brand bronzer so I was like okay let's try that out and again she recommended something that's a little bit more cool toned just because my skin is so freaking pale. So I'm just going to use this bronzer brush I'm going to kind of go over what I just did I think but just kind of like blend everything out a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go down and kind of blend again along that contour line. This is like a powder brush. I'm going to set my makeup. So I already had this one. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. We're just gonna go in, put a tiny, tiny bit. I don't like to set with too much. Put a little bit of powder here and here just to kind of help highlight and also manage maybe some of the oil then i'm going to set that with the pore professional super setter benefit long lasting makeup setting spray so i like to spray this on and then i'm going to blend it in a little bit so just kind of like mist it all over your face and then take that same brush and just kind of blend it in any excess that is left and it's still setting so i'm going to use the maybelline total temptation brow definer in blonde and then the 24 hour brow setter from benefit as well i'm just going to brush my brows out to start with this i'm just going to lightly fill in my brows just a little bit of anywhere that I have some sparse areas then what I like to do is I like to just brush through it again just to kind of get a really even application and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna go in with the 24-hour brow setter and just kind of set those brows that I just did this stuff makes your brows stay so strong like 
these bad boys, once you set them, they are not going to move. Like, it's not going to happen. This Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, I wanted something very similar to, like, the Honey Palette from Urban Decay. I could not find it at the store, so I asked for something that was similar that they might like know of and the woman found this one for me she said it's very very popular so i'm excited to try it i think i'm going to start with maybe the burnt orange in my crease i'm just going to start by kind of blending that into the crease wow that's super pigmented that's so pretty i probably put a little bit too much on that side but it's okay we'll go back later next i'm going to go in with a shadow color i want something that's a little bit kind of light and glam so i think i'm going to start by going in with tempera here the lightest shade i'm going to use this shadow brush and just kind of go over my eyelid okay that's looking quite good i'm also going to kind of take this angled brush and I think I'm gonna go from the corner up and then I'm gonna blend that out as well and I think I'm gonna use this cypress umber color it's kind of a darker brown almost to kind of give a little bit of like a wing without having to do like a full wing just something light and soft then I'm gonna take that same smudge brush and I think I'm just gonna smudge it a little bit underneath my eye as well. So my favorite mascara of all time is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I feel like it just looks so good. It really separates out your lashes. I really like to make sure I get the lashes in the corner. If you guys are not already doing that, make sure you do it because it's so easy to miss, but I feel like it makes your lashes look so much more dramatic and then make sure you get your bottom lashes as well because again i feel like that just pulls together your whole look okay this is looking so pretty i feel like this is the best my makeup has like literally ever looked maybe in my whole freaking life so maybe i need to go to sephora more often and try more products this is ilia i've heard so many good things about ilia this is the color haze multi-use pigment this is in the shade temptation i feel like this is just such a nice pretty shade it's almost like corally which i really love i'm gonna go kind of where i would normally put like a highlighter on my cheekbone right there then i'm going to go in with a brush, like a blush brush. I'm gonna kind of blend this up and out. A little trick that I learned is if you overdo your blush, like I do literally every time I apply blush, you can actually just kind of go back over it with whatever is left over from like your foundation. I'm going to go in with the Ilia Daylight Highlighting Powder and this is in the shade Decades. So I'm just putting a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to go along that kind of line of my cheekbone to add a little bit of extra highlight. I feel like the application of this was so nice and it's not like glittery, which I really like. I don't like it when brands do like super glittery highlight. This is like definitely a cult favorite at this point. So I'm just going to use that to kind of line a little bit over line my lips. Okay, next I think I'm going to go in with... This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. I think I'll probably use this on my lips today. Just a really light application. That's looking really, really nice. So next I'm gonna go in. This is the Milani Raspberry Oil Infused Lip Treatment. This is so, so nice. If you guys have not used this before, it's kind of similar, I think, to like the Dior Lip Oil. This is going to be the Freck XL Original Freckle Product. So you kind of use it and make faux freckles on your face, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this. I don't know, maybe I should have done this like more like underneath my makeup. Okay, then I'm gonna use this setting powder one more time. So that is it for my new makeup routine. I think I'm going to be using a lot of these products now from here on out just because I like the application of them so, 
so much. The girls at Sephora really know what they're doing. So if you guys need product recommendations, you should definitely go and ask some of the employees there. If you guys have any other products that you recommend and you like this video, be sure to comment them down below because maybe I'll do more videos like this on my channel. If you guys have not yet subscribed or checked out my other videos already, be sure to head over to my channel to do that. I have more hair care, fashion, skincare, and more, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!